questions because we're not going to go on long. This is going to be very brief. The primary purpose is to just show you how it happens, what happens in the way that I do it in particular. It is important to me that you meditate and pray, that you attune to your source. And I will do the same thing. I will do a brief prayer. And you will, you will notice that when David gives the suggestion for the trance, I will begin to fall asleep. After a few moments of being asleep, you're going to see a very violent jerk in my body, a spasm. It might startle you, but don't worry about it. It doesn't hurt. Believe me, I'm already asleep, so I don't feel it. But what is happening at that moment is that I am leaving my body. I'm abandoning the physical body. So my consciousness is gone. And we let then the source use the body as an instrument to speak So I ask you just to be quiet and to be in a kind of meditative state during the time of the experience. Um, just the ones that I circled. going to make this a very brief reading, but uh, on the other hand, that is not exactly my choice. Uh, that's the choice of the source as it is coming through. But I doubt if it will be something that will take a very long time. How are we going to place the microphone? A white robe, which is just part of um, making the experience a, a very sacred experience. I, I use the same white robe every time. I use incense. I use, I use the little altar figure of the Mother Mary. All of these things are to help me make this a sacred moment. So I suggest that you do the same thing. Allow yourself to feel that you're in the presence of the source of God. Let me tell you one more thing that you may experience. You may experience hearing the answer to the question just before I say it. Or before it's translated. That's not unusual at all, and it should happen for you. You're channeling now. You listen to the source yourself. You'll get the answers before I do. That very often happens for David. He often gets the answers before they are spoken. 
Yes, we do have records and witnesses of each of those gathered here and the particular situation you require about. It would do well that you know. far better experience that would have occurred had she lived longer in your family upon the earth. You must understand that she came to complete her karma. That she completed that work completed it well and left graduated. This is not cause for a thought of tragedy, but rather of congratulation. Few souls have finished the cycle of karma and return. She 
She had little to complete in soul purpose, thus was able to complete in a short time. This may not console for the loss of one you love, you will miss her. But you may also rejoice at having been privileged to have the visit of a soul so near the completion of the cycles of karma and return. Might also do well to be aware that she continues with you and assists you and is a cause for you being here at this time, on this day, in this place. How do I concern myself with disease with others? Do, do I help them? Do I heal the disease? Or, and I want to understand why the disease occurs. This question is asked concerning a child who has a challenge to meet. Her challenge is to be of service to others who experience handicap. It is not unusual that one with such a mission will prepare the self by experiencing a similar handicap. Consider what has happened not to be a damage or disease, but an instrument. A training and a preparation. A source of compassion and understanding for those she will teach. For she will be a teacher and a healer. How do I learn to heal and to integrate others? In the specific incident in which this question is asked, might do well to use the, these two techniques. First, using the bed, you call the Bible sound for perfect relaxation. Using a fairly large faceted or pointed crystal or focus. At the point of the center, the key or cup. The point of the Dantian. Acquire her cooperation, calling upon that portion of herself referred to as the inner self helper.
You can only assist, you cannot do it for her. Assist her in calling upon that portion within her that is the Christ. Requesting of that without reservation. That the inner Christ control and integrate the life. Learn the ritual of the sacred marriage of heaven and earth. And the banishment of all forces uncomfortable with the presence of the Christ. Use this for a sacred baptism, a wash. And so you accomplish an exorcism. What has happened to the extinct species? This is the completion of karma of a species or the spirit of a species. In very many instances, a similar species will appear in a different and higher form, whether on this plane, this planet, or on another. All species grow in wisdom and in closeness to the source. What is the movement in the political and social affairs of the world, and what is the direction of Japan in this process? You are very much approaching a time of one world. In which leaders, governments begin to realize interdependence. The overwhelming mass of humanity has begun to realize that war is far outdated, outmoded, unnecessary, accomplishes nothing. Allow the recent incidents in the Soviet Union to reveal to you that the will of the people, even unarmed, is effective in overcoming the desire of those who would express force and would imprison people. Your greatest challenge in the world today is your relationship with the earth itself. The consciousness of responsibility toward the mother. This you must learn. 
Learn the law of love, that it is greater than fear. And to learn the laws of economics. By this law, we refer to value for value exchange without artificial values being established for political purposes. As this nation creates an alliance or a common market in the East, there is a building of great strength. Where Japan should hesitate to form a common market alliance with the Eastern countries. Those have been referred to as the four dragons, four tigers. If there is instead a greater link with the United States, Japan can be placed at a disadvantage. For common markets form in Europe, in Asia, in the Far East about Japan. The great karmic lesson of the United States is to overcome a self-image of power, ego, and condescension to other countries of the world. This lesson must be learned. If it is learned effectively, a common market will be formed in the Western Hemisphere. If this is not so, then common markets of Europe, Asia, and the Orient will be overwhelming to the United States, which will be in an inferior position economically. This can cause instability. It would do well then that all pray for economic stability, value for value exchange, a new economy. And particularly for peace in the Middle East. For this remains the most troublesome region. Even now, there are threats to the balance. And the recent war is still in complete fighting will come again. Prayer for peace accomplished by confident individuals, powerful in prayer. Are more effective than armed forces.
That is only a small comment. We will give more further in another time of discourse. We will simply repeat. Out of Japan will come a great light. A teacher and illuminator. Who will help in the initiation of the world. The return of Christ. Should come through the school of the prophets as it is being established even at this time. It is essential that there be established in earth today a school of the prophets. A mystery school as great as any of the ancient schools. We have begun that work through this source and this channel. As those come from Japan for such initiatory training, so shall a light come from Japan to illumine the world. That is sufficient to this moment. We are through with the reading of these records. Thank you. 